if we want to start meditating, if we want to start the practice of meditation, then the first thing we need is a timer. You can just use your phone, you can use an alarm clock. I'm personally using the app Inside Timer. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like the app because it lets you track your progress. It has guided meditations and a lot of different things. But the main thing I like about the app is that you can set a certain time that you want to meditate. And then you can also choose different bells and sounds. And then if you start and the meditation's beginning, then you will hear a bell at the beginning and at the end of your meditation session. Then <laughs> you need to find a place to sit down. You can simply sit in a chair or if you're really flexible or if you want to train your body to be more flexible, you can also sit with your legs crossed or even like this or even like this in a lotus position. Then it's really important to keep your spine erect as that's the most healthy body posture for just sitting and your hands can simply rest on your legs they can be like this resting on your legs i mostly keep my hands like this and rest them on my legs and yeah, then the only thing left is your eyes. You can just leave them open as it's like the best way to practice for our everyday life. Because when we practice meditation with eyes open, we will find or see that it becomes also way more easy to be relaxed and meditative in everyday situations because when we wake up and go through our lives, we also, yeah, <laughs> just leave our eyes open. And yeah, it's not about staring at something. It's just about relaxing your eye muscles, like not tensing them too much. And then just looking at maybe a leaf or like a small, yeah, texture somewhere maybe even like a point at the wall like just anything you can orient yourself on or orient yourself to so then you can anchor yourself with this point that you're seeing and then you're not constantly like wandering around or changing where you're looking at because it's all about staying still with your body Your breath, you don't need to change it or do anything with it. I'm not talking about breath meditation today or becoming mindful of your breath. Although that's a technique you can use to be meditative. Today I'm talking about just sitting. About Zazen, as I put it in the title of this video, which is simply the Zen Buddhist term for meditation. And then when you found the timer, you sit yourself down, you keep your spine erect, you do all of these things, you're looking at something. Then you can press start and let the time run for the meditation session. I would say 10 minutes, very good for a beginner. Could even do 10 minutes in the morning and in the evening, although that's maybe a lot for you as a beginner. So you could also do just 10 minutes a day or two times five minutes, just whatever you feel like or yeah, however, how much courage you have or how much yeah time you want to put into it. <laughs> and yeah, then what's happening? What are you actually doing? What's actually going on inside of us when we are meditating? Well, when I'm just sitting down like this and I'm looking at the camera right now, 
then right now I'm feeling just spontaneously there's some sweat on my skin because it's really warm. I'm hearing the sound of my light. It's like... Mm. <laughs> I'm hearing some birds outside. And it's just about taking all of this stuff in. Just perceiving it. Just hearing what's going on. Seeing what's going on. In the outside, like <laughs> in this physical realm, but also in the inside, in our head, in our mind. Because when you're just sitting down, eventually there will be some thoughts that come into your mind. For example, right now I'm looking at this camera and then I might start thinking, whew, yeah, this camera is really good. But I mean, I could get also a camera that's even better. Should I get this camera right now? Yeah, but do I have the money to get this camera right now? And this is happening all the time to us, that we start to think about something, anything. It could be related to your situation or completely unrelated. Maybe you're thinking about the girl or the guy you saw on the street like 10 years ago and you regret to say hi or whatever it is. <laughs> can be, yeah, can be anything. And if that's happening, we also just perceive that. We try not to engage in this thinking. We are not thinking like when we're solving a math problem, then you're like, okay, now I need to do this and this and that. And then you keep thinking and thinking and you're searching for solutions. And you have this goal in mind, you want to achieve something or do something. And that's yeah, not what meditation is about. Meditation is just about perceiving your thoughts like a flower on the road. You're just seeing the flower and you're taking it in. But there's also this problem <laughs> that when we see something beautiful, like a flower, we look at the flower and then we're like, oh, maybe I should pick this flower and give it to someone. Uh, maybe I should go to the garden store and buy some more flowers so I also have flowers at my home. No, it's just, just taking in the flower and really, yeah, coming into a really intimate connection or union with this flower. So that you're looking at this flower without all of your thoughts and ideas and perceptions or concepts. You're just taking it in the way it is. And when you're sitting down, you're just sitting, you're meditating, you're doing this with everything, like everything. <laughs> And when you notice that you're distracted, then you also just notice that and then you just continue to do your sitting. So meditation is really more about being than doing something. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then suddenly the 10 minutes are up and maybe nine, maybe nine and a half of those 10 minutes, you've been thinking about something that has absolutely nothing to do with meditation or that's not relevant. But there will be the small moments where you're not thinking, where you're actually hearing and seeing what's in this present moment right now in front of you and around you. And the more you practice meditation, the more 
easier it will become, the more skillful you be with just seeing, just hearing and just sitting. <laughs> So if you want to know more about meditation or watch some more videos about meditation, you can definitely check out my channel. You can also subscribe if you like this video and you could also give me a thumbs up if you like this video. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. And yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching and take care.